Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Ravida. We are going to do it today. We are going back to the shard level that we are quote unquote supposed to be on, which means we are subjecting ourselves to the torment of enemy shot speed up, HP up, speed up, extra waves in rooms, lower soul gain, extra enemy attacks, more enemies, more traps, more rooms, harder enemies earlier. Even more enemy HP. More waves at the end of rooms. The one that makes the game honestly a little less fun. Enemy damage up. And then this one, which we have honestly not even tried yet. But it's kind of an RNG roll. Uh, th there's a chance that this could be nothing. There's a chance that this could actually make the game really, really hard. Uh, but we'll see. This is the shard we are on. We are on shard 14 not even really close to halfway done with all of the shards, which is mind-boggling. Uh, of course, if you did not watch the prior series, you would not know. There is a reward sitting for me at the end of 40 shards, which I can tell you in the current state, as much as like my heart was excited about the idea at first, I think the chance of that happening is uh, impossible. Uh, <laughs> but we will try. We will certainly try. Enemies have a chance to explode on death. Uh, but we'll see that that actually that could be really bad that could be really bad especially since we take um we now take a heart and a half of damage every time we take damage we instead of taking one damage we take a heart and a half I forgot we have an enemy or uh, an ally too enemies explode on death we will we'll we'll see this that couldn't could be fine it could even be beneficial for all I'm uh, for all I know could pull a, a Curse of the Dead Gods, which does curses way better than any game I think I've ever seen. Uh, the Curse of the Dead God curses are great because they're like bad. Oh, they're like kind of bad. Yeah, see, there we go. That 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 might be okay. They're kind of bad, but you can use them to your advantage at the same time in, in some situations. I think those are by far the best curses I've ever seen in a game. Uh, but alas, familiar that fires piercing bolts seems very good. That seems very good. It looked like if I if I saw correctly, it does the same damage as my bullets, but considering it's piercing, that's big news. Gotta get away if they're going to explode. We literally have to treat every single enemy like they're about to explode. That could have been bad. We know there's no secret room. Uh, if it if it turns out that we cannot go to the hive on this run, then. We frown and say, so be it, because um, we, we've entered the point of the game where we kind of have to do sort of perfect because we die so, so quickly. If we get hit by a jammed bullet, we take three hearts of damage. That's what happens. If we get hit by a jammed bullet, we take three hearts of damage, which in our current state would be a one shot. So we got to be very careful. Shields are incredibly important. Ooh. Well met, Rebirth Traveler. I was just about to free myself in an act of stunning heroics, but you've saved me the trouble. Oh. <laughs> Is this finally another uh, NPC that we get to see back at the camp? I, I hope so. But yeah, uh, there, there is... um, It's not super likely. But there is a... Okay, there's a jammed enemy right there. We, we get touched by this enemy, we, we actually literally just lose already. A fact that would not scare me so much conceptually if I didn't know that we were less than half, halfway through the, uh, halfway through the the shards. I uh, I do not even really dare to, dare to presume. <laughs> what the, f uh, the final shard is gonna look like? Oh, it's a cursed item. Small chance for another enemy to die upon enemy defeat. It, uh, oh, boy. We could try and get the five curses. I know that that's what people want, but that's not really feasible on a shard 14 run. There's just like... When you increase the difficulty like this, you don't... You, you take away your ability to play the game in a little bit more flexible way. So... I... I hate to say it, but, like, that's the kind of thing that you don't really... I, I don't think you'd really see in higher shard levels. Uh, 
this is the thing we've I, I've talked about uh, like with a lot of other ro like roguelike creators recently uh, like ton tons of them tons of them uh, what is this range bosses drop a relic when defeated maybe this puts us in one shot territory for a kind of a while I'm doing it I'm doing it fine I don't care I don't care we, we <laughs> we'll, we'll try it's a little bit riskier than I probably should go for, but if we can heal up twice, then we die in two hits anyways instead of uh, one hit. It's a tall, maybe a tall order. The good news is uh, a cursed enemy, it doesn't matter if they're cursed or not now. We, we die in one shot either way. Uh, but yeah, I've been talking to a lot of other roguelike creators uh, about the concept of difficulty in... Uh, that was probably our secret room. I, again, if we don't go to the hive, we don't go to the hive. Uh, about difficulty in roguelikes and the um, the inclusion, the new frequent occlusion, inclusion, occlusion, I mean, well, eh, kind of, I mean, kind of, uh, inclusion of, holy moly, ascension systems uh, and difficulty systems being sometimes, sometimes a detriment uh, to, to you in the enjoyment of the game because... If a climbing, if an ever climbing or a climbing difficulty system is present, lots of players who uh, who want to put in because roguelikes are they're a genre where people uh, intend to put in like a hundred ish hours sometimes. You know that it's one of the few genres where people sometimes intend to do that uh, regularly. So someone who's doing that sees a system where there's amount of shards they feel like they're supposed to climb them right they feel like they're supposed to climb if they're gonna like if i'm gonna keep on playing i should keep on uh i'm gonna keep on playing i should might as well climb these shards but hey what if shard 20 makes the game not fun for you anymore you know then the answer is play shard 10 you know but i like i get it but also i don't know i wonder i i wonder if the amount of shards is 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 good is what i'm getting at I, I wonder if i wonder if it's good Oop. and i i promise that i would say the same thing regardless of if there was a reward sitting at the end the end of it or not for me uh because i'm certainly at a point where i don't think that 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 is going to happen if there's no changes uh to to the style of system just due to the fact that like it, it's spooky it's spooky. It's gonna keep getting spookier. What do we got here? Your bullets follow your aim direction. I mean, I felt like that uh, that makes sense to go for the shield there. Shields are so important, so strong. I think we have locked ourselves out of getting the. Um... Okay. Well, maybe it's in there. Maybe we haven't locked ourselves out. Whoop! Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I I will say this curse is one of the only or. I think it's the only curse I've seen. All right. We will go. That is kind of in that Curse of the Dead Gods sort of style. There's like a couple curses in like Undermine that I think are really interesting. Like they're, they're penalties that clever players or clever or careful players can actually gain an advantage from. I love that stuff. Where you can uh, you can take a penalty and sometimes like use oh, use it to your advantage. There, there's one thing that I always I always go back to. I always think about it's so, it's so it's so niche. It is so niche uh, because first of all, D dicey dungeons is it's a slightly niche more niche uh, roguelike already. But more. S Why did you die? My freaking pet killed him. Oh uh, well, I'm 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 one hit from death now. That's just that's welcome to my reality. I'm one hit from death now. Um, Dicey Dungeons had a Halloween special, limited time special modded thing where one of the characters, all of the equipment in the game was bad. It was really, 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 really bad. Uh, it did a bad effect to you. But every once in a while, or like every. Um, turn or two i can't remember exactly you get the ability to reverse the effects of or reverse the target of one of your abilities so basically you take these things that are terrible to you 
and you were able to utilize them in kind of like weird ways where if you thought about it correctly, they would be incredibly, incredibly, um, incredibly, incredibly powerful if you were able to reverse the effects and combine it with other things properly. Uh, and that's kind of what I think is the best kind of canvas for uh, curse mechanics in games. And that's why I think that, well, Curse of the Dead Guys gives me... Uh, what the hell? All right, we, 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 we die here. This is so... Why did you... This room is so small. Oh my god, man. This is highly cursed. I. This is so stressful. I'm going to die to denial. Uh, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, that's why Curse of the Dead Gods does it so well. What? Uh, what? If he does that AOE attack in the middle, how do I dodge that? Like, actually, how is it dodgeable? Oh, uh, um, thank God. That's kind of a fun little benefit of the room. Until he does that one attack, this is not that bad. Okay, May maybe he is, uh, maybe he's scripted to, to never fully go in on it. All these other attacks are totally fine with this. Okay, we got really lucky. If he ever did that one attack where he sits in the middle and he does the AoE, I actually don't know how it would be possible to dodge it with that little space. But, hey, he didn't show up, so maybe it's not possible. Oh! Okay, so it's only max containers, though. It is not... It is not current HP. So, how is this going to be best used? Probably as... A trading resource here is my thought uh, and unfortunately there's only one thing to upgrade and that is uh, our lovely little bee which I do think is actually really good I think the bee is good but not your traditional source of power and we also saw that we got hit because of the bee before oh god humble bee send it just send it. I don't think we're going to get ourselves up to that that max HP level anyways. So we might as well just do this. We take two hits right now. If we can heal up three times, we can take three hits instead. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm concerned. I am the legendary hero. No doubt you've heard of me. So tell me what news of my heroism. What? None of you. St none you say. No matter. Oh man, I would love to voice one of these characters so bad. Perhaps if you help me hunt down a beast most foul, that will get them talking. Uh oh. Excellent. We shall adventure together. You can be my trusty squire. What? What did I just agree to? I feel like I agreed to a challenge when I'm already feeling like uh, I've got a challenge. Uh-oh. Okay. I still don't know if those actually do damage or not, so I really want to be careful. That was so scary. Well, I, I'm so I'm so confused what I agreed to. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. Anywho, I don't know if I finished my tangent or not. Um, about the whole idea of sometimes I think that certain like inclusions of certain difficulty levels impedes enjoyment. Sometimes you know because. As much as it is like it's in it's in your control if you play it or not, uh, certain things being there for for players who will play for a long time, it just knowing that there's a mode that you feel like you're supposed to be playing that's not as fun, basically is not as fun. 
Especially if it, you know, if it, whoop, if the game, you, if you really, really love it at a lower difficulty level, then you play it at a lower difficulty level. Like, I, I do get that. Whoop. Boy, oh boy, howdy. Two more heals, and we can take three hits instead of two before we die. Uh, man, I miss shields. Wait, what's the sound? Um, what? What? Hap? What? What? He's a... He's a mini-boss. He's a mini-boss now. I didn't know... I had no idea he was going to teleport. What? What the hell? Enemy corpses explode once shot. No! No! I don't want that. Okay, well, we took damage for, <laughs> for nothing, then. Ouch. Please give me the heal. Heal, heal. Nice. Creates two damaging familiars that bounce around the room. They don't hit me, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, this could be problematic. I'm just, ha I'm just happy that we got a heal, right? The addition of that challenge guy, I'm not going to say I don't like it. I do like it, but boy, howdy. When you don't know originally that they're going to teleport, it is super easy to, uh, to get bopped. Increase crit damage and chance for crits slightly. Chance by 5%, which is actually not bad. Ten percent fire rate, or this? Uh, is this a rare? Okay. Hmm. Five percent higher chance to crit, and get five or er, fifteen percent more damage when you crit. Ay ay ay. I don't know what's better between these two for me right now. Let's go with the predictable 10%. I, I I don't know the math on that. I feel like there was a correct answer there, and I don't know it off the top of my head. Ooh, a chest. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. This is hellish. This is actually just hellish. What what was I supposed to do? You wanna die for me? Thank you. Alright. It's just a, a constant struggle to not be one hit from death <laughs> is what this is. More jammed enemies means more chances to literally be one shot at three hearts. Uh, um, let's see. Or is it is it one shot at three hearts or is it normally this two? So it's just three. No, yeah, it would do three, wouldn't it? All right. I can turn it into souls, or I can open it. I will open it. I like, I need a miracle anyways, right? Enemies might spawn other enemies on death. It's concerning. Uh, this... Burning socks are very good, though. Like, that, that was a really good item. That curse could easily put us in a situation of... of surprise death. I would say, yeah, like, easily could. Oh my god. I just was not, I was not sliding fast enough. Oh. Okay. I was not expecting us to get the murder so quickly. I wanted to look for secret rooms. That's the other thing is that, uh, shields are... They're, they're, they're effectively required. 
for, for high shard level. And they are much less common now. So I'm I am very concerned. I'm looking for secret room here. I don't know if I even looked over here, did I? I did. Okay. That was terrifying. We're fine. Terrifying, but we're fine. I've not used my uh, my celestial weapon. I certainly want to. Of course, of course. I should uh, make sure I pay more attention to it. Another chest. We don't have a... Uh... Uh-oh. We don't have a key, though. Uh, okay, wait. So this is not one that splits into bees. I think this one might burst on death. No. Okay, so far so fine. Jammed one. Insta-kill. Oh, Nelly. The jammed ones do give us more souls back. All right. We do not have the key for that. Oh, thank God this music slaps. Keeps me sane. Keeps me sane. Ba -ba 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 -da. Ba -ba -da -ba. Uh oh. So this. Ah! Um. <laughs> Come the hell on. Fun. Okay. Uh, we're gonna quick restart, I guess. <laughs> Fun. Uh. God dang it, man. All right. Chests contain less loot. I, there's much worse things that could happen. I know for a fact as you go further, you get... I think it's like up to three. I think you start the run with three curses. Which is terrifying. But alas, alas, what are you going to do? I'm just going to... We're going we're gonna to try, try again. We're going to try again because the difficulty system is there. So we, uh, I, I, feel, I certainly feel like it's what I am supposed to do for sure. I know for for a fact that like when I play on lower, people are just like, "Why aren't you playing on higher?" And that might, you know, that's just a YouTuber problem as well to have, where it's like if the if there's a hard, harder difficulty system in the game, people are gonna yell at you for not playing it. So like, if anybody's because whenever I do this, people are like, "Well, why don't you just play on the, the low difficulty?" Because then I also get the comments that are like, "Well, why are you playing on the? Why don't you just play on the uh, the high difficulty as soon as I switch?" So it's just like. It's kind of a lose-lose. So I might as well do the thing where... Whoop! I can see if I can maybe just get a run where I get shields. And then I win. It's, it does feel like what it comes down to. Like, I, I think that... Here's the thing. If I just, like... If tomorrow I just got access to the highest shard level... I think I could just play enough runs where I get, get lucky and get shields, you know? And I could maybe get through it in that kind of a capacity. But uh, otherwise, I, I just... I don't want to. I don't want to roll the die all the way up to that that shard level. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to roll the die all the way until then. It's just it's it's uh too much, too much. Not uh, a lot of it's not fun difficulty. You know what I'm saying? It's just not not fun difficulty. Whoop! Get him gone good. In we go though. Give me a shield. Give me a shield. Give me a shield. Chests have less loot. That's, I mean, that's fine. Uh, I think that it might be in our best interest to save our soul for this. Hello, crows. There's three crows sitting right there. Hello there. Five. Increase your damage, but lower your speed. You know what? We will probably just do it, right? As spooky as it is to lower our speed, we do just need to... Uh, we need to kill enemies quick. Like, we just... We gotta dispatch them super fast. Uh, you know, simple as that. Man, I can't get over how frustratingly unfun that death was. Slime jumped from top platform, did three hearts of damage to me. Like, oh my god, how could you look at that and think that that was a fun situation? Oh man. Ow. Ow, my heart. 
I will be thinking about that pain for a while. This damage, though, is super good. I'm super, super pleased. This is this is promising. Did we, did we? I thought we did. I just wanted to make sure. We're going to be dashing around a lot because the movement speed of the dash does not get impacted by, uh, by Greatsword. Thankfully. I think we'll probably end up upgrading the, um, the Greatsword as well. Which is, what, it's like a heart, it's a heart and a half. Please, no. Ah! Tried to jump down to the platform, did not work. Oh my god. I, I really am just like, I'm just a slow moving chunk is what I am. I feel like there might have been a secret room pass there, but I wasn't able to check. He was on the wall. It's okay. Again, if we don't get to go to the hive, we don't get to go to the hive. It, it, it is what tis, man. Tis what tis. Oop. But yeah, my, my recommendation, if you're playing Ravita, if, you, if you're picking up the game, I honestly, I recommend probably not playing the shards past 10. If I were you. If I were you. And, and even 10 is pushing it. Six feels good. Six feels good. Like, like good, solid fun. Past that, honestly, I would recommend just like I would recommend just not doing it. <laughs> there's no, there's nothing in it for you, and the thing in it for me is not worth it. <laughs> and it's and it's a pretty it's a pretty cool thing that I was very excited about. So that should be very telling if that if it now does not feel worth it. Whoop! Oh my god, we got the bees up there. So I would say like, but yeah, but I love the game. I love the game a lot, and I don't want any of this to come across as as anything to the uh, to the opposite. It's more just like if you don't have anything uh, anything to gain, I uh, I think you'll like this game a lot more if you stick under Shard Ten. That's all I'm getting at. Bop, 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 bop. Ooh, wait a minute! Heart Lunchbox on this mode is or on the Shard level is kind of spicy though. I need to heal. Or do I? Will we get all... I don't know. Maybe I don't want to. Upon reflection. You could ruin my life. It's kind of fun to think that we... Oh, wait. We can't get a secret room. Alright, so we're not going to... I don't remember if we got the, the secret path or not. I just don't, I just actually don't remember. Oh my, God. well now we're getting all the luck, okay. I mean, I ain't complaining, thank you. This is so lucky now. Deals more damage the lower HP you are. Uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's common. I don't know, because if I lower my max HP, I just don't know. If I lower my max HP down to one, does that still count as being low on HP? Or is it like, I, I don't know. It depends if it scales up of missing HP or amount of HP. Okay, so we have <gasps> normal? Normal, thank God, because great sword, uh, Greatsword is already a little bit of a, a a hindrance in dodging. Oh my god. Like, look, at that was me just trying to walk out of the way. Not possible. Gotta get in on that dodge. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the attack I was talking about. If he did, if he did that attack in the small room, I could see there being, like... A nigh undodgeable situation. Oh my god, just trying to move out of the way with great sword. What what did I tell you, man? We we've already hindered ourselves. So I'm I am super happy to see that yeah, we, we got lucky. My timing my timing is off for that, because I usually I base it off of how quickly we get to the edge. But since we get there very slowly due to great sword, I, I my my timing is all off on it. Whoop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, my dodging. It's so suspect. We're getting there. We're getting there. 
I feel like with a 40% damage upgrade, we kill about as quickly as we would on um, shard zeros. What? Okay, well, fine. I'm getting. <laughs> what is this luck? What the hell is this luck? All right, fine. Maybe I do have a chance of winning. You give me all these shields, because uh, the thing that's important to, to keep in mind is when you take 1.5 damage, it still only takes one shield, which is about the only thing that makes me feel like I have a chance a lot of the times here. So the fact that we got four shields, that's where my luck went. It went to this run. What the hell, man? Let's get stupid. Let's get stupid. If we heal up, we still take two hits. Two heart containers is still two hits. I I'm banking on the shields here. I'm trying to go all in. Thank God for the new balance patch uh, that made it so... Like, that would be unheard of. We would have we would have zero health and then some uh, in the old the old balance pass but the fact that we have these shields that's why i was able to do what i wanted to do there because now we can get our we can heal our health up to max all right we're back to the uh the the dang uh poison zone which at this point oh shoot at this point is the rare thing oh thank god like we would not be able to do this without the, the luck of these shields oh blessed be Blessed freaking day. Blessed freaking day. Oh my god. Ben flipped the switch. He said, uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's, he's, talk, he's talking about the shard levels. Flip the luck switch on. Give him the luckiest run on earth. Oh my god, man. There's still like... A really solid chance we, uh, we get boinked. Ooh. I can hardly get over there fast enough to uh, to fix it. There we go. I was kind of waiting for this, too. There we are. We do so much damage. Chests have less loot. I'm pretty excited about, too. Wait, was there... Wait, did I... Did I just, just walk past a secret room that I discovered? I think I might have. Alas, alas. Uh, trading HP. I mean, I guess I can. Uh-oh. These rooms can be very spooky. In a, in a weird way. Oh. First enemies are not that scary anymore, by comparison. Challenge room. Um, actually, very exciting timing. We, we have to. I, I really, really hope we don't take damage. But getting this before our shrine is pretty important. Oh, because then we can actually... um Theoretically, we will get our... Oh, max HP up. No! Wait, actually, we still will. <laughs> the, the the lanterns. I don't know if we would have without this room. So that that the timing on it is still really, really good. You'll see what I mean. Because if there's an item here that's worth buying, then we would not be able to get that second heart container right now. Uh, maybe. <laughs> this wasn't changed? Come on, this is such a bad item. Oh, okay. Um. All right. It's such. It's such. It's it's so bad. Increase your max HP by one if you beat an entire area without ever dashing. It's a fun challenge, but boy, the reward is not worth it. I feel like at the very least you gotta slap like a damage up on there. Also, like the reward has to be godly. I think. 
or hell like th th this is really spicy but maybe give it make it so like you get a uh, point what like an eighth of a heart container for every room you do without dashing now that is an item right there that is a cool item if you do that you get like a an eighth of a heal for every single room you do that that makes it way more interesting i would i would take that item it could be an eighth it could be whatever it could be like for every two rooms you get an eighth i don't care like make it not so all or nothing the fact that it's so all or nothing makes it so it's like it's unrealistic to consider beating certain bosses like shard 14 aside it's unrealistic to assume you could beat certain bosses you know without dashing <laughs> so like the rewards got to be godly if it's going to be in its current state and even then i think i don't think it should be an all or nothing idea like i get it it's a special celeste item and everything not every item has to be amazing but i don't think that that one is even usable uh, or in, in the sense where I, I don't think that i don't think that that is worth any amount of health or resources i don't think that's worth any amount of any kind of resource because it'll only get it'll only make you take damage that's all it'll do all right i don't know if i search for the secret room on the right there but tis with tis tis with tis with tis Thank God for them being like a, a lobber shot there. We're kind of just, yeah. We're kind of just not going for secret rooms, which... I know we should. I know we should. There's just so much danger all the time on... On Shard 14. Uh-oh. Nice. Whoop. We good, we good. Oh my god. Bop, 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 bop. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I take it. I take it. <laughs> nice joke, Ben. Nice joke, Ben. Very funny. Very, 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 very funny. Ha ha. Hee <laughs> hee. Get your dang text to text to speech or speech to speech to text code reading system out of my video. I know that you hacked my computer. How else would you explain that? Oh, how do I do this? Oh my god. Uh what? What? Why'd they both spawn one? This is This is hell. Oh, I could I could have approached easier there. Nice. Oh, they're out of sync. Thank God. Oh! Health? Oh. Um, if it's cursed chest, would I open it? Because I don't have enough health to open a chest right now. I, sh I would have had to sacrifice that damage upgrade. I'm going to say no. It's just not worth the key then, I guess. We'll, we'll keep our keys for later, I guess. I, I would have liked to go, and I would have traded a heart. God, our damage is so good, and we've removed a lot of the penalty of the greatsword. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Oh. Oh. I did not mean to do that. Whoop. Oops. It's okay. Thankfully, we have shields. Don't even need to bother looking for a secret room in any anymore. We took damage. Bouncing off the wall anyway. Trick shot. 
Nice. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. This run is possible because we have shields. Like, that that's that's just it. The run's not possible because of me. The run's possible because of shields. With a, with a hint of me on the side. Uh, uh-oh. Uh that was terrifying. And still is. Terrifying, 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 terrifying. Woo, Nelly. Uh, okay. No, they move with you! Oh, they moved with me because of their attacks. They shot backwards. We're gonna lose. All right. Uh, they moved back. The dang recoil. This is an always, is what that one is right there. No, that, I would not even... I would barely consider this beneficial. I think it is... I think it is... Is, but I would barely consider it beneficial. Um, I'll take a key at this point. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. We should have maybe taken that thing that increased your damage at low HP. Had I known we were going to be playing in this capacity. Also, that might have been last run. I don't remember. Uh, I don't think our heart lunch... Oh, heart lunchbox thing has procced yet. Or maybe it has and I just didn't know because it's like it doesn't visually... Oh. doesn't visually do anything. For all I'm aware. Uh, do they come down here? They do. Ooh. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Well. Okay. New item? I didn't think I could get any more new items from this chewed gum. Alrighty. Sure. Thanks for the chewed gum. We got to be at half a heart here, so if we take three hits, which could happen. I mean, I guess I haven't taken this. I haven't done this fight in a little while. It's been, it's been a little bit. We, we have great damage, uh, but hey, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hello. Yeah, with, with his, the new change, I would say that like th this attack is much easier to see. But in the other capacity of his other move gaining, uh, lasting a lot less time, I would think that I would say that he got a slight, slight increase in difficulty, but in a good way. The the change that this guy got is awesome. Like him sitting there and doing that attack for twelve years was not particularly hard to dodge. It was basically like if you got hit on this guy it was because he popped up below you. So I I really really love the change of that. Uh oh. Like, shifting around the difficulty to a, a better locale. Because that, that attack coming like coming down, it, it's easy to dodge on its own. When you combine it with another attack is when it's kind of scary. I would love to dash through him to do damage. I'm shocked at how little damage we're... Or how long he's taking to kill with how much damage up we have. We have what, like... We have plus 65% damage and he's taking this long? Is that... I guess that's a, a byproduct of the double HP up. Right? It's gotta be. He, he'd be dead by now otherwise. Boink. Nice. What did I do to deserve this? Thank you. Thank you for all the shields. You're giving me a chance, man. You're giving me a chance. I like I this is this is a godly a godly run item wise compared to compared to others. You don't get very many items in this game. You know what I'm like we we have four right now and this is a um this is a certainly an above average frequency of item run. All right. What do we do? Probably nothing. Or maybe something. Let's let's live a little. If, if if game's given me this many shields, let's live a little, right? I feel like the double bounce off the wall is not really that helpful. Uh, but yeah, we'll just use our healing to increase our max HP up back up to two again. Uh, we should 
in theory, get the ability to get back up there. Effectively, <laughs> the entire floor will charge this bar up to full twice. Fine. You get an item, though, so it's worth it. It's worth it. I like the addition... I like the addition. Now that I know what's up with it, maybe I won't take... I, I probably won't take a Telefrag hit. Pro probably. The music happens so you know when it's coming, too. So it's like... I like the idea a lot. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This combination of enemies is, is concerning. You've got to give it up for old Rito McGee. Yeah, gotta give it up. Bounces aren't that helpful. Certainly not in this. <laughs> Certainly not in that room, at the very least. Certainly not. <laughs> uh, what a. We're only gonna have the option of the one HP trade. Uh oh. Okay. I hate everything. What? So wait, only his fly, only his helper fly has the shield. That's kind of funny. I can't. There we go. <laughs> I was treating it like uh, the whole thing had the, the, the shield on it there. But no. Not at all, not at all. Jammed, uh, the addition of jammed enemies as well makes it so the soul meter takes inherently longer to charge up, it feels like. So that's also kind of a bummer. Made better by the fact that they do drop two. Like, I do like that, oh, uh, that conceptual trade-off indeed. Uh-oh. This is, this is a damage room. Yep, this is a, this is a, this is an at least one damage room. I, what is this? What the hell was this? Like, if you can tell that a room is a damage room by looking at it that easily. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. That was terrifying. Uh, we're gonna lose. I, I think that that is, uh... <laughs> Just yeah, stop, stop trying to prove that the shards aren't too hard by giving me the most bizarrely lucky shield run imaginable. The average run, you get maybe two shields. Oh my god. Fine, man. Speed and shot speed. Is it... Does it equate to kind of a range up or not? So yeah, we had the same amount of hits as before. Uh, as before we did that there. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like, yeah, maybe if the shield drop rate was a little bit higher, these modes would be less frustrating. But that's like a fundamental change that makes the base game easier too, you know? Like, everybody everybody doesn't get it. They, they're, they're saying the, the game is too easy because they only play on shard zero. And then the game gets uh, it's gonna, gonna make me all, all sad because all those things also impact the sh high shard level. Oh. There we go. What is that? What's that? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Did I hit a... No. Okay. Uh, can we get three heals in this amount of time? It's unlikely, but possible. It's... Oh, my God. The ice. Um, I'm processing here. Oh, they go down here. They do fall. Good. Okay. You. Uh oh. I can't die. So, oh my god. I had, ah, I had to shoot downwards, otherwise, I would have taken damage. Um. Why did my shot not bounce off the wall? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Ice. Ice. Ooh, 
doggy. We go in. We go in. Like, no matter what, we go in and we make our decision. Uh, I think that an item is probably a better idea. Yes, that's better. Uh, that's better than one more hit, I think. I think. I think. Again, I can only do what I'm doing because of how many shields the game has given us. That's the only reason I can do this stuff. I would kill for half this luck on the average run. Oop. Shield. Shield again. We have a curse. That's clearly not the, uh, the only thing. Curse and pass all the shrines? Or maybe it's taking a curse chest from before the boss? Uh-oh. This is... This is, um... Too many? Uh, why? Thank you, charmed enemies. Okay, that charmed item was worth it just for that. Just for that situation right there. Oh my god, a shop? Uh, Maybe we can get another shield for half a heart? The luck today is just preposterous. We get another shield, and I think we'll be able to get enough uh, soul to get one more heal in before the boss. We absolutely will. So that does buy us an extra hit. No, here's the boss. The, the mini boss. I mean, I'll just hide. He's jammed, too. I ain't above it. I ain't above it at all. I ain't above it at all. Did I jam? Or I thought I charmed, charmed him there. How much health up do you have? I'm still probably gonna take a hit from like just from slipping. He gonna catch me, oh, slipping down the the wall and we'll take that hit. Oh, I, I had no idea how that was going to go. Oh, he's going to jump up here. Thank you. How much health do you have? He's also jammed. Please don't tell me those stack multiplicatively. They, oh my god, they sure as hell do, don't they? When are you going to die? When are you going to die? I know we're not getting as many hits in as I want, but, like, can you blame me for cheesing him in this way? He's taking, like, actually forever to die. Holy moly. If there wasn't a wall here, what the hell, man? I... He has more health than a boss! Die! Just die! Are you serious? I wanna get... I'm, I'm tempted to get down there and just start blasting because I'm getting bored. Oh my god. Are you serious? I actually, like, am I- I'm really confused? Uh, what's happening? 
Is this a joke? Is this a joke? Like, actually, the, I, I'm, I, I, I was surprised at how long it was taking before, and now I'm like, I, now I'm thinking that maybe there's a bug and he's un. Oh my god, that needs to be so changed. Oh, that's um, that's probably relevant. We, well, we, yeah, no, it's relevant because we heal up right now. Even if this gave us health, now we can get an extra heart container. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that needs to be changed. The, the, the those, <laughs> those should not stack in the way that they clearly were stacking. They, they must have been stacking multiplicatively. Otherwise, I just don't get how that happened. Okay. That I, I revealed it, right? Like I, I see it. I just didn't know if I actually did the reveal or not. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought I fell. Whoa, boy. All right, we in there. We in there. Sure. Boink. Wow, uh, I think we will have. Uh, I think we will do this. Actually, if we make it th through this room without taking a hit or two, ooh, ooh. should not have spoke so soon. Charm is god tier. Charm is god tier. It's like it's like really, really good. Please. Oh my god, screw the hell out of you. Oop. Screw the hell out of you. Alright. I I could see this I could see this fight still being a loss. God, this video is an hour. It is an hour long. Holy moly. Holy moly. Just a quick little Ravidi. Just a quick little Ravita. Oh, we got we got middle ice floor. Oh my god! That attack. All right. Yes. That makes everything so much better. It's like in Cuphead where you get to get extra damage on the next phase of the boss if you do it early enough. Oh, yes! We in there! Oh! Bite my butt! We've done it. I deserve this. I deserve this. I don't deserve it. All the shield drops. That's literally it. That, I wonder how many times would we... <laughs> um, how many times would we have died if we got the normal amount of shields for a run? Probably like three or four times. <laughs> Probably like three or four times over we'd die. Because you got to remember, every shield makes it so we take 50% uh, 50, 50 less damage from that hit. So think of how many times we've been hit that run. Uh, and that would tell you how many times or how much damage we mitigated as well. Like take how many times we've been hit, divide that by 50%. That's how much extra damage we would have taken, but didn't because of how, how important shields are to the strength of the run. They're, they're, they are, they are everything right now. Which they either need to be, I think they need to be more frequently dropped or the game needs to be maybe, like, at least, again, all of this is only relevant because of the inclusion of the shard system. Uh, if, if the game, like, if you're playing on shard 6 or 10, none of this matters. None of this matters. The game's perfect. 
Uh, but when you're the fact of the shard level being the, what it is, the uh, the drop rate of shields being so bad, it feels like there's no. Maybe if there was an incentive, maybe if there, if there was some kind of incentive for increasing the shard level, that would make it more fun to climb. Like, that's maybe my current pitch. It's just like increase the drop. Like, I know it sounds counterintuitive. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but like getting some kind of reward in the run as well for also for increasing it just like slightly increasing your drop rate or something for 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 items so like a slightly increased drop rate for damage uh hp shields just even if it's like a super small percentage for each shard i think that that would make it that would make it way more fun to climb shards i think i think personally i think that would make it more fun um because right now, I, I, I don't really see people... I don't see the average roguelike player uh, wanting to play past 10, at the very least. Personally. Personally. I could be wrong. I know there's other people who will, will, will disagree. But that's my my assumption. If... Uh, I'm, I'm, I am no... I am no bad gamer. <laughs> I am not a bad twin stick roguelike gamer. Uh, so that's that's my that's my take. And, you know... Do with it what you will. Let's start with the water gun. Chewed gum. You can only start with two, so we're not going to waste uh, waste picking up that other one right now. I'm excited to see what the water gun is. It strikes me as something that could be really neat. We got uh, jalapeno. Actually, it's just jalapeno. There's no um. No um. I was going to umlaut. No tilde. Uh, what is the achievement? It is... I remember what the visual looked like. It was this one. Beat a room without touching the ground after the first hit. <laughs> I thought that... I, I did not think that's what it was going to be. I thought that it was going to be for being the... Um, for being the, a, a jammed champion. Oh my god. Holy. Holy moly. All right. Well, that is that, man. That's going to do it for today. That was a mental journey. We cannot keep doing episodes that are an hour long. My schedule just does not allow it. One of my favorite things about Ravid, I always say. Nice, sweet, clean, compact 30-minute runs of a roguelike is something that, especially YouTubers, really, 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 really enjoy. Uh, yeah. If I got to do a couple runs, it's probably not going to be something that we can keep around for too much longer. But I love the game. I really, 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 really love the game. If you want to pick it up for yourself, I think that you will have an absolute blast. I think you will have even more of a blast if you stick at shard 6 or maybe 10 at most. Right before it hits the... the uh, it's the sweet spot right before it hits the um, extra max HP upgrade for enemies. Because that makes it feel a little bit... I, I don't know. I don't know. I talk about that a lot. I don't love HP as an upgrade for difficulty. Personally. But, alas, alas. The game is amazing. And a lot of the things I mentioned, they are only relevant because of the inclusion of the shard system, like I mentioned. I, All of these things, the game does not need to be easier for shard zero. But when there are eh, amount of shards in the game, I... I don't know, man. Doesn't it doesn't sound too fun to climb past past twenty to me? I don't know, but that's that. That's gonna do it for today. Love Ravita. Check out the channel for Ogos more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.